phones. So like, you can take pictures and shoot video in 3D, and we're distributing about 100 of them out to the audience. And the audience is gonna shoot the concert, and then uh, it'll be edited together. So it'll be like a, a, a fan-generated 3D live concert, I guess. Have you guys seen any 3D movies yourselves? Tons. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I generally don't like watching through this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Take an hour of it, not the that. Yeah. You know, First I'm going to get ahead of I have a hard enough time in the real dimension. I don't need the, <laughs> you know, the added bonus of the third dimension. No one dimensional guy myself. So yeah, yeah. tell us about the new album quickly. Uh, it's called Great Escape Artist. It comes out uh, December 27th or September 27th. And, uh, you know, we're going to play some songs tonight from it. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of it. It's just, it was a long time in the making. And, with Dave Siddick from TV on the radio to help us with production and co-writing and so forth. And it's uh, it's a step in a new direction for us, but I wouldn't be able to tell you how. So now I got the <laughs> somewhere new. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I mean, like it's difficult to be on the inside and tell you how it's different because we made all of the stuff. So you know, it felt natural to us. So there was no like, intended uh, directional shift. Maybe a little more electronic kind of elements in it. Than Maybe so, but we even still touched upon that yeah. in 2003, so yeah. it's, it's hard to say. So the obligatory maximum questions for toss up to you got those guys here. What's the craziest backstage story you guys have? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so many. <laughs> in, order, in order to protect the innocent, you know, I can't really divulge. You know, that's. It's, you know, there's code. There's a code on the road, and like you gotta <laughs> adhere to it. It um, wouldn't be a phrase if it wasn't so. Very cool. Um, so since we're filming you guys in 3D, you want to do some cool 3D gimmicks, like throw stuff at the camera? Nah, we won't be doing that. No <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're filming you guys right now. You want to like throw it a lighter? Maybe we can high five. Yeah, we're like like right here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 3D, uh, right? So I got to look. Did it look real? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll toss it to these guys now. All right. All right. Sweet. Sorry to be repetitive, I just don't want to use their quotes. How's it feel to have your uh, soul captured on these uh, crazy LG phones, or is that not what it's doing here? <laughs> I don't think it's, no, we did, uh, <laughs> we did a, uh, a 3D uh, acoustic show on DirecTV with uh, Guitar Center, so it's not our first time in the third dimension. Mm -hmm. So I feel pretty comfortable now in the third dimension. The first time I stepped in, it was a little weird. It was like a parallel universe, but now it's, uh, you know, I feel like I've successfully traveled through the wormhole. Mm -hmm. How'd this whole concept come about? Did you guys approach LG and say that, hey, this is something we want to do, or was it, did they come to you? I, I actually don't recall, but I think probably one of those things that we went down through the, the ladder of management to sure. us and we, you know, a lot of times we'll just say, it's a good idea, <laughs> you know, a lot of bad ideas out there. <laughs> this one seemed kind of cool because it was, uh, it incorporated the, the fans and the audience, you know, they get to be a part of shooting with them. Sure. So I know you just shot a video the other day, I believe, yeah. for uh, the Irresistible Force, the Immovable Object. Um, we're Let's gonna just call it Irresistible Force. Irresistible Force, sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna see some cosmic love making here. <laughs> uh, well, always. always. That kind of goes into the code of the road thing that we talked about. <laughs> you know, I, gotta, I gotta do my cosmic love making when I get back to the hotel. <laughs> you know, create the Big Bang. There you so, go. So to speak. <laughs> cool. So, um, the new album in general. Tell me about the direction you wanted to move in with this. Uh, what what maybe inspired the the new sound you're going for? You know, it's hard to say. It's just. Uh, like I was saying earlier, it's difficult to be on the inside and be a, to have an outside perspective. But uh, you know, we just kind of feed off one another, and, and that's the inspiration. You know, most inspired by what's going down in the moment. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, about the... For me, I was more uh, interested in kind of redefining my guitar playing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I focused on, and like tried new things, and, and you know. Uh, what sort of new things? No, just, just a new approach and sensibility to playing. So I feel like I have our whole back catalog of, you know, power chord rock riff songs that I can play guitar solos and, and do that kind of soloing gymnastics over. So on this record, I wanted to be a little bit more uh, conscious of um, just the songwriting and, and, you know, just taking my playing to another dimension 
So when we have a live scenario, there's all kinds of different areas to step into. Because sure. the, the live show will be old and new stuff. Mm -hmm. So I get to do all my old stuff, and then I get to try some new stuff, and just kind of make it, keep it fun, mm -hmm. you know, and challenge it. Do you try and do new stuff with the technology? Like, do you use the synth and all that to make new oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, yeah, we definitely, there's a lot of uh, synth on this record, and um, some programming, and, you know, a lot of, uh, and one of the things that we were talking about earlier is that you got to, if you don't look at the studio environment itself as an instrument, you can get lost in that forever. Right. You know, it is like a, a black hole that yeah. just goes forever, and it's you know infinite. Reverse this, tweak that. Yeah. You know, you tune know. this to that. You can make every do anything you can think of, basically. Yeah. Echo this. And yet if we don't have a deadline, we're gonna you know <laughs> tweak, tweak, tweak. This forever. <laughs> like I always thought about it, like. Like a meth addict would be a really great mixer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just one more day. Wouldn't that be great? Anyway. Just like, you know, if someone's going to be a meth addict, you know, go to, go to engineering school. <laughs> then you can be up for two weeks and mix the record and get it perfect. They're probably cheaper, too. Yeah, well, yeah, I know I, I've heard rumor that some of those Steely Dan records, you know, the, there was a lot of cocaine use going on back in those days. And that's why they sound so fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you know, turning knobs and dialing away, it's, you know, so prove. <laughs> so what do you ultimately prefer? Are you here to get out on the stage and play live and perform, or do you really love that studio experience and going in and tweaking forever, cocaine use or otherwise? <laughs> I, I like I like both live and studio. I think there are two elements of the job that are a lot of fun. Like, out on the stage is a lot more visceral and performance oriented. And, uh, energy, vibe, you know, just kind of pageantry, and in the studio, it's just all, like, creative, creative, you know. You get, you know, you can get stagnant down the road too long, mm -hmm. you know, it's basically, you know, you're playing the same tunes, the, the, the book, so to say, but as much as that's amazing, you know, you have to, you have to have, to have a balance. Mm -hmm. Where do the music, music videos fall in with that? The music videos, are those like, you know, in between the stage and the studio, or? No, those are generally just necessary evils that are <laughs> horrible to shoot and, and awful and uncomfortable and long, you know, tiring, exhausting days. But at the end of the day, you know, when it's all said and done, like the process, mm -hmm. like I enjoy the creative process in the studio, and I enjoy the process out on stage, but I do not enjoy that process. Yeah. Okay, that's good you know to know. I mean? But at the end of the day... You like the final product. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely not a journey guy, I'm a destination guy sure. when it comes to music videos. You know, I like what we make, but I don't like doing it. Right. Yeah. Great. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys are all set? Yeah. yeah. We're looking forward to the show tonight. Come on, bitch, you made it. <laughs>